Jesus Allah. May Allah Almighty collect all their prayers and their prayers. Uh, may Allah let all their heart desires come through. May Allah give them long life and prosperity. May Allah give them good health. MashaAllah. Allah is a kamuduka dalheri. What's up, Ghana, Africa, to the world? Thank you, Ghana, for speaking. This is another episode on Hood Vibes Show. And on this episode, we are celebrating with our Muslim brothers and sisters in the Zongo. So we are going to the beach side for prayer now. Getting to the beach, they lay their mats and commence prayer. So after the prayers, according to their doctrines, the chief imam have to be the first to slaughter around. After that, the rest can do that. Up Ghana, Africa, to the world, and Kivan officials speaking. As you know, today the Muslim brothers and sisters are celebrating one of their festivals, and we are here to witness and also give you information and details about what the whole thing is about. So I'm here with one of my brothers. Please, what's your name? Uh, my name is Issa Mantanali. Your name? Issa Mantanali. Okay. So what are you celebrating today? Uh, 
Uh, we are celebrating Eid al Adha. Okay, so what is it about? Uh, actually, it is a festival that was first celebrated by uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam. That is Abraham in the Bible. Uh, actually, uh, it was a sacrifice that was asked by God, and who, who which we Muslims say is Allah. We ask him that he should use his son to sacrifice for him. That was the, his only son after them. We asked him to sacrifice him to him. So uh, in the process, then he we gave him a ram. That is a male sheep to sacrifice in place of it. So actually, this festival is all about uh, caring for the needy. We give out uh, meat, food to your, to your relatives, and then the poor and the needy. Uh, they are much uh, specifically that people that we really cherish most. You give out to them, show the love that you have for them. Because uh, the world is all about showing love and care. And those who, who don't have, who we have, you need to share with them. Okay, so you say, uh, so all this is about Abraham and what is in the Bible, right? So do, we, do you want to say that what is in the Bible is the same as what is in the Quran? Okay, uh, actually, uh, there are certain things that are found in the Bible and surely they are also found in the Quran. But we don't say that everything that is found in the Bible can be found in the Quran because uh, there are certain parts of the Bible that we don't believe in. Okay. Mm, so well, there are certain aspects of it. Maybe some of them we say, or maybe there are uh, uh, historians that put them in, and then maybe that uh, maybe the sayings of other prophets. But the Quran, as it is, they are the West, or they are the sayings of the of the Almighty, that is Allah. Allah. No one else apart mm -hmm. from him alone. Okay. They are the worst of him. Christians believe they have God, you believe you have Allah. Is that it? Okay, actually, uh, the word uh, Allah simply means that uh, the only God that deserves to be worshipped. Okay. But when you look at the word uh, God, mm -hmm. in English, from God can mean anything. Okay. It can mean anything. Maybe uh, it can be a statue. Okay. Uh, we have female gods, which we call a goddess. By the word Allah, it has no feminine or masculine. That is how it is. It has for Allah as it is. It has no son. That is, it has no begotten son. It has no father, no mother, no sister, no relatives. It has nothing like of that sort. But in the Christian aspect, they believe in uh, Father the Son, fa uh, I, God the Son, I God the Father, God the Son, and then God the Holy Spirit. They believe in Trinity. That is some of the Christian. Uh, I can't speak in general, but specifically Christian, I, Catholic, that's what they believe in. They believe in God the Father, God the Son, and in God the Holy Spirit. They believe in these three. They believe in Trinity, but we you believe in what? In eternity. That is oneness of our God. Okay, before we go, from all that you said, do you want to say that you believe that Allah is a male? No, no, no. Allah is... That's, that's what I say. It has no gender. It has no gender. It has no gender. Okay, but when, but when you were talking, you said um, Christians, God can be a, a lady, which uh, which is which we call goddess. Okay, I said I, I didn't say according to so like the word God. Mm -hmm. in English from God. Okay, it's only when they are writing maybe writing it in, and maybe you can write it with, with caps, with okay. capital, with something okay. with cap. Uh, okay. What if maybe in case they are speaking, you might not know. No, okay. Uh, but the word Allah, it has no gender it's at all. No, no gender. It has no gender at all. Okay, okay. But the Christians, the Christians, I can tell. Okay, okay. Uh, they say they have God the Father. Meaning, one father means what? It's a male. It's a male. And then God the Son. Okay. Meaning, Son means it's also a male. Okay. And then Holy Spirit. You know, when you talk of Spirit, Spirit is something maybe you cannot see, okay. but maybe you can feel it. Okay. You cannot see, but you can feel it. Okay. So today you'll be sharing uh, uh, meat and all. The, why? Why that particular practice? Why don't you just kill your ram and eat it alone in the house? Why do you share? Okay. Uh, God is a loving God, and then He cares. And what you are having. Uh, I assume that maybe you are in a community or you are in a particular place um, and you are having a loan. When you eat all, what about your brother? In case you really cares about him, what about him? Okay. You need to share. It okay. is said that sharing is, is okay. caring. When you share, you bond together. Even in science, when, uh, when, when uh, electron, uh, elements say electrons, they bond. When you share it, when you say that way, you become connected. Okay. You feel like maybe you are all the same. Okay. When you are in need, he may or he might also help you. Okay. Reach out. Before we go, wish your brothers and sisters. Wish your Muslim brothers and sisters. Okay. What will you tell them? Okay. Uh, I would say, uh, 
uh, Eid Mubarak to all Muslims across the whole world. And then uh, I wish that uh, to the whole humanity we find the truth and then we reject towards that. Or we find the reason why we are on earth here. Okay, thank you. This has been Hood Vibe So We're still around, so we'll be talking to a female and also get their aspect and their understanding of what is going on here. Keep it locked here, subscribe, don't go anywhere. So, we're still here in the Zongo and we have a, a Muslim sister here that I want to talk, want to, talk to about what they are celebrating today so earlier we had a chat with a brother and he told us about what you are celebrating and how things will be going but i want to ask they said they will be giving you guys meat after everything so you guys are going to cook right <laughs> yes we are going to cook uh -huh. so after cooking you share to people i want to know why you share mm, we share because like it's the amount of sharing like yeah we share things we just share yeah do you have is there any specific reason behind the sharing or is just because it was a norm from like the olden days to share there is no specific it's a norm you just have to share because in islam sharing is caring so like it's just normal, it's just normal yeah. sharing. what time will you be sharing mm, that will be after slaughtering the ram or the cow so it will go around two three that way but, but they slaughter one already. Is that the one you are going to use or like you have other ones there that you are going to slaughter? That one is for them. Everybody does it in their home separately. So yeah, we, we two are going to do ours. Okay. What's your name? Ramzia Garba. Ramzia Garba. Yes. Okay. So that's her side. But this festival, how does it inf uh, how does this festival affect you as an individual? Well, this festival it just talk about obedience okay. and yeah, that's what the festival is all about being obedient if abraham was not to be obedient by now he would have been here so it's just obedient yeah, that's it so that's what you have picked from yeah. the festival we talk to another sister and uh, we'll hear her opinion as well so keep it locked here please your name sambu maria sambu maria okay so you're also going to share right yeah. You also share. Yeah. Am I invited? Um, you surely be invited. Yeah, I'll be invited. So what's your hand? This one is Lily. Lily. Yeah. Why? Why do you? Why, why, why do you put it in your hand? Uh, this one, it has its own significance too. Okay. But it's all part of being nice. It's all fashion. That's all fashion. Islam for you. Islam for you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We'll talk to another lady. Okay, please. Your name. My name is Sadia Garba. Sadia Garba. Is she your sister? Yes. Okay, so the festival. What is the name of the festival again? Idi Ada. Idi Ada. We I saw on certain platforms that it has been spelled E I D U L. Then they brought apostrophe A. And there is another one that they spell E I D M U something. What is the difference between the two? The first one is Idil Fitr or You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the same thing. The one that I'm spelling. Eid uh, Idil Ada. That's the festival we're celebrating. But the Eid Mubarak is just like happy. Yeah. Like, so it's just like your language. Wishing yeah. Somebody. Wishing somebody. That's the Eid Mubarak. So the Idil Ada is the festival itself. So this one is just like wishing somebody. That's Eid Mubarak. Now I can also say Juma Mubarak, that's for Friday. Yeah, happy, happy Friday, Friday. Juma Mubarak. So this is the same thing, the Eid Mubarak. So that's the same. I feel like how you explain the thing. For Kamari, for the Muslim community inside, I want to say, I go learn the, or how you say? Well, it's not bad. It's not bad? Yeah. Be like she go marry me, so. Give me, give me a Muslim name. Let me give you a Muslim name. Mm. Abdul Malik. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and be notified for more amazing content. Goodbye.